thought it would be cool if we started this walkthrough just like the visitors do in the entrance. As you can see, many animal silhouettes lead us to either the train ride with an information booth or just a pathway. So welcome to the Harambe Zoo. So far I've created um, this much. <laughs> It's just a start, but I find it very promising as I plan on placing multiple entrances. The first one lies inside an African area and I started with the scorpions. The forest one... Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the desert one. You know, just to gather some visitors and check whether everything works as it's supposed to. The train ride gets underground and this path goes over it, but we'll see it later. I added many skylights to make it less scary, less claustrophobic. <laughs> On the right, the guests can see quite pretty stuff buildings disguised as an African village. I used in-game sets and added my own details and it was such a time saver. And now we're under the roof, in a great hippo spying place. I've seen a similar one in a real zoo and loved it. I think it really fits the landscape. Another skylight for the train some decker and we reached the hippo hole if we go upstairs on that path we find this hot spot for watching the hippos I'll need to place multiple donation boxes here the path as you can see goes on but right now we need to go down that's for the next time on the right some education with the hippo not being behind the bars I hope the message is clear Another information booth, another animal, my favorite little dragon, and oh, I can see it's in there right now, but finally one of two hippo areas. Here we have a nice small pond, they seem to like it a lot and gather many visitors inside. I love that tree, it's a nice way to stress the central area. And here, my own information board. The idea is to show the king size hippo on the big one and the pygmy hippo on the small one. But I don't have the pygmy hippo yet. And we reach the second hippo in the area, the one with mud. It's less popular. <laughs> You've already seen the jaguar habitat, but I plan to make the pygmy hippos their neighbors. Right here. The underground train again. But if we go down that path over there, we find super cute Africanish stuff building. I think it really fits into the landscape. And another small pond, visible only from the train raid. I've seen the hippos use it whenever they don't want to be together, which is almost always. And let's move to the habitat itself. I placed many many rocks here because the hippos don't really like the plants I couldn't play with the terrain because they need flood pathways and the place looked so empty but it turned out very cute it's definitely huge and this lake let's call it a lake it's very deep so they can do whatever they want and right now they want to chill <laughs> let's take a dive and ta-da! the train ride! I hope you like it as much as I do. I'm really glad about how it turned out. To be honest, with the underground train and watching the dancing hippos, I got inspired by the movie Madagascar <laughs> with the Gloria just, you know, floating gracefully behind the glass. So yeah, that's what that's how I decided to try to make something like this. And as you can see, it works, it's possible. The game allows such things and I'm super happy. It took quite some time, you know, with the water regulations, but I think it really, it's gonna be real nice. The only problem I can see is that you can't uh, choose the speed of the train for different parts of the ride. It's just one speed for the entire train ride. <laughs> so I can either make it real slow and quite boring during the times that you don't see any animals or I can make it very very quick very, very fast, that's the word, very fast uh, but then uh, while you go next to the hippos you can't really see anything, right? so I think maybe I should place some speakers down there 
with different animal sounds to make it more of an experience than just a train ride. So even when you don't see any animals because you're underground, you still hear some sounds just to avoid any complaints. I don't know whether the game has that many options uh, because that's the first train ride I've ever tried to make. But yeah, I think it should work. Let's see it in the next movie. <laughs> As you can see, all the skylights are there just to, not to make it scary. I don't want to make that ride a scary one. Of course, the game wouldn't care, the visitors wouldn't care, but I, I want to make my zoos as real as possible and I would definitely get super scared and super claustrophobic underground for I have no idea how long because it's probably gonna it's probably gonna be a slow ride so that's why I added so many windows as you can see I even plan to add some more windows inside the outdoor part of the pygmy hippo habitat just to let some more sunlight down there and I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull such a stunt again because it was uh, with the that big lake for the king size hippo because it was very hard to make it work with all the water area limitations and with pygmy hippos everything's gonna be so much smaller so yeah this time the visitors won't be able to see them swim sadly maybe with another um, water loving animal maybe with crocodiles hmm. so yeah i suppose that's the longest i can talk without any script so bye bye and i hope to see you next time